Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial for ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So in this tutorial, we will be taking a look at a footprinting methodology of DNS footprinting. So this section describes as to how to extract the DNS information and the DNS interrogation tools. So attacker can gather DNS information to determine key hosts in the network and they can perform social engineering attacks to gather more information. So DNS footprinting allows you to obtain information about the DNS zone data and this DNS zone data includes uh, DNS domain names, computer names, IP addresses and much more about a particular network. And I don't need to say anything specific what will happen if then hackers uh, go ahead and get uh, the IP addresses or the computer names. So the attacker performs the DNS footprinting on the target network in order to obtain the information about DNS. He or she then uses the gathered DNS information to determine the key host in the network and then he performs, uh, he or she will perform uh, the social engineering attack to gather more information. DNS footprinting can be formed using the DNS interrogation tools. And we have several other tools over here. I'll just go ahead and show it out to you. And just before I proceed, you might be wondering, if you are wondering that uh, I'm here to teach Kali Linux, but I'm still showing you tools that uh, can be downloaded and installed even on Mac or uh, let's say Windows. Yes, I'm showing you these tools because uh, this is just an overview of what footprinting is and which tools are available. But when you go ahead and use Kali Linux, these tools are already available inside them. You don't need to install them specifically or install them uh, like, okay, just a moment. Okay, you don't need to install them uh, specifically as to uh, any uh, random or update them because every time you go ahead and update your repositories, these tools get updated on their own and you, do, you don't have any need to go ahead and gather all the tools and make your own operating system because you have all of these tools available inside Kali Linux. So if you just uh, to show, I can go ahead and show you some tools that are available for gathering DNS or who is. So just like this. Okay. So as you can see over here, we have these security tools and for information gathering, we have DNS analysis for intrusion detection systems such as antiviruses and all those. We have IDS identification, live host identification, network scanners and OS fingerprinting tools. And the best of them is the ZenMap and the NMap which can uh, almost give you all the information if not, or it can give you most of the information if not all uh, to go ahead and do some social engineering attacks on your client. So before that, I'll just go ahead and show you how these, what these tools are and how they work. So I'll just go ahead and open dnsstuff.com. Okay. Okay. So this is one website and we have dnsstuff.com and it is possible to extract DNS information about IP addresses, mail server extension, DNS lookups, uh, who is uh, lookups, etc. And if you want information about a target company, it is possible to extract its range of IP addresses utilizing the IP routing lookup of DNS uh, of DNS stuff. And if the target network allows unknown or unauthorized users to uh, transfer DNS zone data, then it is very easy for <laughs> hacker to obtain the information about DNS with the help of DNS interrogation tools. Once you send the query using DNS interrogation tool to the DNS server, the server will respond to you uh, with a record structure that contains information about the target DNS. And DNS records provide important information about location and types of server and where they are. So the important points for DNS server would be uh, DNS interrogation would be points uh, to a host IP address. It can also give out point to domains, mail server and name server. Canonical naming allows you to ally as the host and um, uh, it can also indicate the authority for the domain service records and it can also map IP addresses. So there are a few different uh, tools such as network-tools.com and different other websites. Performing a DNS query available at uh, DNS queries is a tool that allows you to perform a DNS query on any host. So there's one more website which is far better than the DNS stuff and it is DNS queries and yes, here we have it. This is a tool that allows you to perform a DNS query on any host and each domain name uh, is structured in host and the DNS uh, that's a domain name system allows anyone to translate the domain name or the host name in an IP address to contact via the TCP IP protocol. There are several types of queries responding to the implementation types of DNS records such as uh, MX, AAAA, CNAME and SOA. So if you just want me to go ahead and give an example, let's check if I'm able to go ahead and do it for Microsoft.com. Just copy it and I'll just paste it. And okay, 
let me I'll just type invalid domain uh, as you can see that here it is my uh, it's given over here my host name name of my company and the geolocation of my address as to where I have been located and much more so by this way you can go ahead and gather much more information by just by putting a host name or a domain name or anything that you want so this is just an example and uh, let's say I just uh, wanted to show you something let me check this should work let's check okay perfect so as you can see I have all the parent zone DNS servers address we have the IP address starting from 192.193.221 and uh, you can also go down to the TDLP parent check and so these are all the information that you can get and you can go ahead and uh, relate your all the IP addresses that you get uh, via these DNS servers and the best part is that uh, this can be this may seem a bit complicated to you and that is why we have Cal Linux to go ahead and uh, just uh, simplify this out for us just by typing a simple uh, few lines of code not even few lines just one lines of code one line of code and you will have all of these under your feet so you can click and run this tool button and the DNS information for Microsoft.com will be displayed over here as shown and uh, we have several other uh, DNS integration tools such as uh, kloth.net if you want you can just write it down and I'll just go ahead and show it off to you kloth.com and I'll just uh, okay 